I can't comprehend why women from around the world would wear shoes that look like this. Aren't they aware of how it looks like? My dear elegant ladies, today I'm gonna demonstrate 10 pairs of shoes to you that a classy woman would never wear. But I'm also gonna show you what she would wear instead. Let's start with shoe number one. Have you ever seen a worse combo than this? If you are a loyal follower, you know that I don't like the Birkenstock type of shoe. The Birkenstock is a masculine looking shoe. I don't like it for many reasons. I think it also looks too casual, even though it's very popular these days. But I also do have a problem with the thong element. You really need to have a very delicate, beautiful foot with a nice foot arch. I have, unfortunately, not the greatest foot. I have a flat foot and my foot is a little bit on the wider side. So for people like me, and I know there are many of you ladies who have similar issues, we need to be very careful with thongs because as soon as we put our foot into a thong, our foot just grows even wider. And if it's already wide, then this can be a problem. Another thing to pay attention to, look at the thick strap. This, this is not a good idea. Why? because it cuts off your leg so you look shorter plus it also draws all the attention here it widens your foot even more you really end up looking like you have some form of duck foot going on here now what to wear instead i would personally opt for a pair of loafers that are slide-ins because technically the birkenstock model is also a slide-in shoe I wear these type of shoes when I want to be comfortable because they're easy to just, you know, slide in and out. Yet they look more polished, they look more sophisticated, and they also look more expensive versus those ones, you know. What is this? What on earth is going on here? I personally don't understand the ugly shoe trend that is currently pestering our society. Yet it seems that all designers have their version of an ugly shoe. We can also see in fast fashion stores, ugly shoes are everywhere. Can we take a moment and really analyze what's going on here? I don't understand these straps. First of all, these straps are made out of some form of rubber. Then we have the square toe not attractive at all plus it gives a widening effect to your foot and let's not forget this i don't know what to call this heel it's not very attractive is it and what to wear instead people have different opinions whether embellished high heels are attractive or not i personally like them if they're made tastefully like these heels i think there's a big difference between these heels and the previous ugly shoes because these are more delicate they're more attractive and also their straps are thinner their crystals are more kind of expensive looking versus the other ones that came from a fast fashion stores and the crystals looked really cheap i personally also like these shoes because the crystals go in your own skin color and I'm a big fan of shoes that matches my own skin color because it extends the leg. One last thing to say about the shoes is that I think that they look so much more feminine than the previous shoes. These shoes will definitely attract a man, the other ones they won't. I don't understand this chunky loafer shoe trend. It's everywhere right now. Everyone seems to be loving this like boat looking thick and heavy type of shoe. First of all, it makes your feet look like two sizes bigger than they actually are. Your feet are heavy and then when you're walking, they make a lot of noise. If you look at the sole, you can see like all these edges. To me, it looks like shark teeth. I don't like it at all. Overall, for me, the shoe gives a very masculine impression, which I wouldn't advise you ladies who are here on this channel, if you want to look feminine, you want to look classy, this is not the shoe that is gonna give you that. Surely you might look a little bit more edgy, a little bit more fashionable and trendy, but I don't think it's gonna look flattering on you, which is why I do not recommend this shoe at all. So what would an elegant lady wear instead? I am not against loafers at all. I just believe more in delicate loafers. Here you have a pair of nude loafers from Hermes. Why did I choose nude color for myself? That is because they will elongate my leg and also they blend in with my foot, meaning that you don't really pay attention to them when I wear them. People can instead focus on other parts in my outfit to 
put their attention on. But overall, I think any loafers would actually do the job, as long as they're more delicate, not so bulky. And by the way, in the description box below, I have made a list of shoes that I recommend to you. Some of those shoes you have seen today that I recommend, so you can actually go and buy them yourself. There will be a few loafers too. Now what do I have to say about the chunky ankle boots? Well, let's put it this way. It's the same as with the previous shoe, but worse. Why worse? Well, I'm sure you have eyes to see with. The amount of weight that's going on here is tremendous. You literally bang, bang, bang when you walk with these type of shoes. They're not very delicate. They're very masculine looking. They drag all the attention of the person. And the worst is that they cut you off so much, you look so much shorter and so much wider when you wear them. For my type of leg, this shoe is not flattering at all. Maybe a woman with a pair of slender and slim legs, she would be able to pull them off. But on me, you can see that I have a bit of a calls going on. And because this shoe is literally stopping right underneath my calf, it actually put emphasis on the calf and make it look wider. So what would an elegant lady wear instead? Well, I do recommend all of you ladies to invest in ankle boots because actually they're very handy to have. But I prefer to buy ankle boots that don't have a thick sole. And also a pair of ankle boots that would look great underneath trousers because I like wearing ankle boots as a leg extender or let's say if I wear a crop trouser, not to have skin showing in between the shoe and the trouser. Now you might be surprised. You might be wondering, but wait a second. I got a pair of strappy sandals. What, does it mean that I can't wear them? I love my strappy sandals. Ladies, the issue here is not the strappy sandals. And I'm actually not going to tell you, never wear this type of shoe ever again. I do wanna give you an advice though. Be very careful with strappy sandals that are of contrasting color to your own skin tone. As you can see on me, black strappy sandals would not look the best. They cut off my leg. There's a lot of detailing going on. And let me tell you one thing. When you style yourself, let's say you're wearing a little skirt like I'm wearing right now, you need to think about elongation because you don't want your legs to look short. Unfortunately, strappy sandals like this, they draw all the attention on your feet. So if you don't have nice looking feet, this can be a problem. I wanna give you one more bad example. Here we have a pair of black espadrilles that I actually do wear sometimes, but I'm gonna explain how I style them in just a second. So as you can see, the black straps are quite thick and that cuts off the leg even more. I would not recommend you ladies to wear these type of shoes together, let's say, with a skirt of this length. So how I would style it, so that it doesn't look like it cuts off your leg too much, I would actually only wear them together with a long skirt, meaning that the skirt maybe finishes here or maybe finishes here, when it kind of covers up a bit and when you're not really paying attention to if your leg is cut off or not. So what to wear instead? If you look around in the shoe department, you're gonna actually see that many heels or many shoes in general have an ankle strap. And this becomes problematic because an ankle strap cuts off the leg. But the truth is that as a woman who wants to look elegant, stylish and classy, it is hard to avoid these type of shoes completely. So as an example, you can see that I'm wearing a pair of uh, uh, heels with ankle strap and it's fine. I own shoes with ankle straps because it's that hard to find shoes without. So we have to wear them occasionally. But as you can see, my shoes are not in a contrasting color. In this example, I have chosen gold straps, even though the strap is quite wide. And that is because the gold kind of blends in a little bit with my own skin tone. Now you're probably thinking, Wow, Anna, I'm learning so many new things in today's video, things that I never thought about before. And believe me, ladies, there are so many rules that we have to think about when it comes to styling ourselves. And actually, what I'm sharing with you today is just a tiny, minuscule percentage of all the knowledge that I have that I wanna share with you, which I actually do in my in-depth program called The Elegant Stylist. Now, this is for those ladies who want to properly learn how to style themselves 
themselves so that they always look elegant, classy, and well put together. I personally think that this is a must investment in every single woman's wardrobe needs because you will finally learn how to style yourself correctly and avoid making those styling mistakes that might make you look shorter, wider, masculine perhaps. So if you are interested, go to elegantstylist.me. There you will be able to put yourself on the wait list for the next time we open the doors. Generally speaking, men love the gladiator sandal or the caged shoe that I personally call them. What my issue is with this shoe, and again, I'm actually gonna talk a lot today about when shoes cut off your leg. And this is my problem with this shoe, ladies, because look, I look shorter, I look wider. This shoe is not flattering at all. And this shoe is actually hard to style as well. As you can see, it looks pretty ridiculous with the skirt. Maybe you could wear this shoe with a pair of trousers as an example, and that would potentially look a little bit better. You will see that all the skin is being pressed towards the edge. All the straps are hurting my foot, meaning that this shoe is actually very uncomfortable for me to wear. I never wear it for a reason. But the truth is I bought it together with my husband because he really liked it. And based on research, let me tell you, most men that I've met go crazy for this type of shoe because men just are fascinated with having all these straps around a woman's foot and leg. I don't know why that is though. So what would an elegant lady wear instead? Well, in my opinion, I would personally opt for a simple classic black pointy pump, as you can see here. It elongates the entire leg versus the previous shoe that really cut everything off and made my foot look wider. Additionally, this is also more comfortable and you can wear this shoe both with a pair of trousers or with a skirt or a dress. Why does it look like I have a duck foot all of a sudden? Very careful, ladies, when you're buying flat sandals, don't buy them with bulk. As you can see, these sandals, they're very thick in the design and that adds width to your foot. Because of this detailing that is quite thick, it makes everything look wider. The strap is also going to the side, so it elongates everything to the side. So it widens everything and make it look bigger. I mean, I don't think my feet are that bad, but as soon as I put on these sandals, it really looks like a pancake foot situation going on here. Even if you would have like the most narrow, beautiful foot, even then it would look wide and bulky and not attractive. I know also we have mules in similar style. I think it's Bottega Veneta actually who made them popular, where the cover is like very bulky and very thick. But the problem is that shoes like that make your foot look like you know, two sizes bigger. And who would want that? Now you might have your own personal opinion about the Hermes Oran sandal, which is a popular shoe among pretty much everyone today. Actually, it's even my favorite flat sandal. I wear them all the time. But why is this sandal better than the other one? Simply because there's no bulk going on here. Also, it's structured in a way where it actually is not widening your foot and gives that kind of bad optical illusion. Instead, it's very flattering on a lot of people's feet. And they're also really comfortable to walk in. And you can wear them with all kinds of clothes, including with dresses. You might be a little bit confused right now. I don't get it, but these are not bad. Actually, everyone is wearing them right now and it looks pretty nice. Well, let me tell you one thing, ladies, is that the PVC heel, as you can see here on me, is actually not completely bad. What I like about it is that it's fairly discreet on your body, meaning that all the attention does not go to the feet, which is very useful when you're styling yourself. Secondly, it elongates your leg and you know how much I love leg elongation because that looks good on absolutely everyone. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. I think it looks a little bit on the cheap side because of the materials. We have a lot of like plastic going on, PVC, crystal. It's very much, you know, what someone who buys from Shein would be buying from there. Like this is very much made in China style. But ladies, there are three problems with this shoe. Number one, when you wear PVC on your feet, what does happen you think? Well, you sweat and steam gathers under the PVC, meaning that 
you're gonna have steam on your feet and that does not look elegant or put together at all. It actually looks a little bit off-putting. And secondly, as you can see, my skin has turned yellow and that is not attractive. So what to wear instead? I'm actually gonna demonstrate for you my most favorite heel. This is by Aquazura. It's a semi heel, meaning that it's about seven centimeters tall only, which I like. It's not too much of a stiletto going on. But what I like about this type of shoe is that there's no ankle strap. And what did I tell you earlier? That is so hard to find heels without an ankle strap that is not a pump. We're talking sandals here. Here you can see I'm wearing in my own skin color, meaning that this shoe blends perfectly in with my own leg. And with the previous shoes, they gave that elongating effect. But instead of going in the PVC direction, I would personally just do a simple leather uh, sandal. I've also been telling you about how contrasting color can be difficult. But as you can see here, I put on the black sandal. And actually, even though it's contrasting with my leg, it still works fine because there's no ankle strap that blocks everything and cuts the leg off. So something like this would definitely work if you want to wear a contrasting color on your feet. I don't understand these shoes. I don't even know what to call them. Lace-up court shoes. I think they might be called derbies. For me, they just look like a pair of shoes Charlie Chaplin would wear. Or something like, you know, a step dancer would, uh, would wear when they perform on stage. I have seen this shoe on so many women. I have never seen them being worn in a nice way. It's very difficult to style these shoes so that they look nice. Overall, this is not a sexy shoe. I don't really think that anyone should be wearing this shoe, quite frankly, because you're just gonna look unattractive. So what to wear instead? I would personally go for something a little bit more ballerina-like that can look quite feminine versus the shoes before that look quite masculine and just nerdy. So I call this the Peter Pan shoes. I am not against a pointy flat pump, like a proper ballerina shoe that happens to be pointy. That is not a problem to wear. But I think when you do a combination like this, as you can see ladies, I have a massive pancake foot going on here. And that is because the shoe is open here. It is not holding my foot together. Instead, everything is just going out like that. Additionally, I'm not a big fan of the ankle strap because you know why at this point. Instead, you should be wearing this. A pair of classic ballerinas is something that every classy woman should own. And as you can see, it actually looks more flattering and it doesn't look as silly or Peter Pan like as with the previous shoes. Now, if you're able to handle more horror on this channel, I have actually more awful shoes to present to you of shoes not to wear. So if you hop on over to my next video called These Shoes Are Not Classy, you're gonna get more advice of shoes that you should not be wearing if you want to be a classy woman. I will see you there.